Hello everyone. Today I am going to install Seismic Unix in my system. For this, we need to open a web browser and simply search for Seismic Unix. As you can see, here is one link from GitHub. Let's open this in a new tab. And if you see, here is another link. Let's open this link here. Now, as you can see, Seismic Unix install on Ubuntu. So, this page basically going to help us in installing Seismic Unix in our system. So let's open the other tab. If you scroll down, you can see one link is given over here. If you click this link, you can get to the previous tab actually. Now click on this size Unix repository. And if you go down, you can see the release of 44R14. Now if you scroll up, you can see one link is here. Let's click this. As you can see, the new ACU 44R18 release. It is released on 1st November 2019. So I would like to install this release. So let's download this. This is the download link. Save file. Okay. So it is going to take a few moments for downloading. So let's now open terminal. Now if I type here pwd present working directory you can see this and then ls to list all of the items it contains now i am creating one directory naming su just by typing mkdir in the home directory ls so you can see one new folder has been created here about 20 seconds left so let's close this tab and you can see here the release is quite older 43 r1 Okay, it is completed. So let's open the file. The file downloaded is actually a compressed file. So we need to unzip this file. So I'm copying this file and pasting in the home directory. So in order to unzip this file, you need to Copy this text from here and just paste in the terminal. You have to add a few text along with this text. Actually, I am providing the name of the folder where I want to extract this file. Also, change the file name. Also remove this dead. Now this will extract all of the files in the SE folder. You can see this in red color in the zip file. Let's clear this screen. You 
if I change directory to SU and then list, you can see a new directory is here SRC. So let's go to this directory CD SRC and then list. So you can see one file is here installation instructions. So let's open this from the file SU folder SRC. Here you can see this file. Let's open it. So you can find the installation guidance here, the installation procedure at a glance. So you can read this and try to install accordingly. But I am following the web page because it is easier to install because already the requirements is written here so let's copy this text and now paste in the terminal just change this name to su hit enter I can copy the next line And paste it also change the name of the folder as su slash bin to make the changes run this text now if you scroll down you can find install the basic set of codes. So copy this text and paste in the terminal. So let's move this window on the left side. And this is on the right. Now let's install this file just by copying and pasting make install. You have to provide Y. Hit the enter key to continue. Again, Y. Here I am putting N, but if you put Y, you have to provide your mail address. So it is installing and it will take time. So I am fast forwarding this. As you can see, this is installed. Now let's install the X Toolkit applications. So copy this text. And paste in the terminal. If you get any error, you can run this command to install the unavailable programs. So you have to provide your user password and just hit enter because i have already installed this so it will show zero newly installed in a similar way if i run for g fortran you can see it says error means i have this file installed in my system but if I, it, you can install this just by running this in this way you can install some of these applications in your system but you can see here that um, these are only essential so i am done Now let's update the system. It will take some time, so let's first forward this. So this is done.
now you can test the installation just by copying this text and pasting in the terminal so you can see this is installed now you can change this text just by simply removing this suex image and replacing it by suex wigb to see the wiggle plot is working or not and it is working